So I'm going to share uh, an interaction that I had with a client that within 15 minutes demonstrates how I was able to change their reality. Uh, one of the things I hear most often uh, or, or, or feel most often uh, with, with client interactions and client, not with client interactions, but in, in client sessions, this feeling that emerges is this sense of I've wasted my life. And there's this real strong sense of failure or beating oneself up, right? A lot of people do it. I've done it. I'm sure you do it. We just beat ourselves up and, and you know, we can hurt ourselves more than anyone else can. In fact, no one can hurt you as much as you can, maybe physically, but mentally, we torture ourselves over and over again because that little voice inside, right? The one that's kind of critical and just just puts you down. <clears throat> so, you know that saying, well, sticks and stones may break my, my, my bones, but words will never hurt me. I think the person who said that, frankly, is a bit of an idiot because as you and I know, words can really kill. Um, anyhow, so, you know, I had, uh, I had you know, a, a client, she was approximately 32 years old and, you know, she, I was working with drug and alcohol addictions at the time and she'd come in and her whole thing was, you know, she was suffering from depression, she was on antibiotics and it was very much, I've wasted my life, you know, I've, I've, I, I was doing so well in my life, I worked up in Holborn in central London and I was in, you know, in the city and I, you know, I was very, very active and with it and all of that kind of stuff. And <clears throat> somewhere in the long, along the lines, this, uh, this client got into drugs and sort of just wasted their life, right? And I said, uh, you know, I'm sorry, just, you, you say you've wasted your life. Just, sorry, just so that we're on the same page. Just remind me, how old are you? She said, I'm 32. I said, all right, wow. So uh, have you got any plans to sort of leave us soon or something? And she kind of was a bit startled. I said, what, do you plan on dying anytime soon? And she said, no, not really. I kind of laughed it off, right? Um, and I said, well, so, you know, how have you kind of wasted your life? I mean, you're 32. And, and really, from now on, you've got the rest of your life from today, however long that, that may be. And um, I said, it reminds me of a joke, right? You know, where, where you kind of, I, I, I had it read, I read it once where it said, um, I figured out, and this sounded really cool, it said, I figured out that I've got enough money to last me the rest of my entire life, providing I die this Sunday. And I thought that was pretty funny. But um, she said, you know, I said, it's almost like you've written yourself off. And she said, yeah, you know, I, I just, I can't believe I've done that. I said, well, look, you can beat yourself up about it, or you can put things in perspective. And she said, well, what do you mean? I said, well, look, um, so you're 32 now. I said, tell me the percentage of your life. I said, nowadays, what's the average lifespan? She said about 90. I said, okay, so let's just say it's 96 for the sake of argument. Just stay with me and kind of mathematically here. She said, all right, cool. And I said, so that's technically it's a third of your life, right? Right now you're at 32 years old. It's a third of your life based on this premise, right? And she said, yeah, that's a third of my life. So I said, it's not all your life. She said, no, it's not all my life. I said, actually, you've got double the amount you've lived already based on this assumption that you're going to live till 96. She said, yeah, I've got double the amount. I said, so it's a third of your life. She said, yeah, it's a third of my life. I said, uh, so at what age did you tell me, you know, there's a certain age you, you kind of can't be independent until, right? So for the first X amount of years, you're kind of dependent and it's not really your life. You wouldn't really marry someone at this particular age. Well, just tell me an age, age, you know, an age range that you would be comfortable saying that actually, actually that I put to um, growing up, I couldn't have done anything before that. And she said, well, look, yeah, 18 years, you know, my first 18 years, I'll, I'll put them aside saying that I had no control, really little control over over them in the sense that my whole life and completely every choice is mine and I can exercise all my independence fully and completely and all of that. I said, okay, so take that 18 away because it's, you don't have that, that's, you know, you're not responsible for those 18 years, right? Um, again, in terms of living independently and all of that kind of stuff and exercising all the things that you want to, all of your decisions. And she said, yeah, I said, let's take them away for the, from the 32. So what we left with, she said, 14. I said, so, okay, out of a third of your life, you, 18 of those years, you actually didn't have control over and you had no say over, really. 
So you only had 14 years of life that you could have done something about. She said, yeah. I said, okay, let's put that in perspective. What's 96 divided by 14? I can't actually work that out in my head at the moment. What is it? Well, it's got to be uh, 96, 18. Yeah, so it's got to be um, one sixth almost or just over one sixth of 96. So I said, look, you know, the first kind of just over one sixth, the 18 years, you couldn't do anything about. Um, and one sixth of your life, let's, let me grant you for a moment, let me play with you and entertain the possibility that you may have completely wasted it. She said, all right, fine. I said, look, so that's a sixth of your life you wasted. I said, so you've got another two thirds left. What are you going to do? Like, I mean, are you going to spend the next, I don't know, one sixth beating yourself up, saying you didn't do it, saying you screwed up, saying you failed, saying you wasted your life, or are you just going to pull your finger out your backside and do something about it? I said, actually, you're in a great position because you've got 14 years of, like almost every year, a reminder of how maybe not to live your life or, you know, or what you can do for the rest of your entire life, right? And in those 14 years, you would have gained some certain life lessons that you would never have gained if you had been on another path. How are you going to take that time? So let's just say I agree with you. All of us at some um, deep level um, feel at some point like we failed or we're failures. And you know what? I, I, we've got to accept that. We've got to accept not it as a fact. We don't have to accept I'm a failure as it being a fact, but we have to accept that sometimes we all feel shit. Sometimes we all put ourselves down. Sometimes we all feel like failures. But however old you are right now, however many years you've had in your life right now, think about one thing. The lessons that you've learned in those many years, how are you going to insert all of those lessons, use, implement all of those lessons to get the maximum out of the next year, out of the next five years, out of the next 10 years, out of the rest of your life? So uh, then you can ask yourself, have I really wasted my life? Or can I learn from how I haven't done as well as I should have or I could have or I would have or all of that and, and actually let me pull my finger out now and the rest of my life that I do have let me not taint that let me not ruin that let me not kind of infiltrate that let me not dissect no, not dissect dilute that with the weight of crap that I carry from the past but the good stuff let me get the good stuff from the past and put it into my future think about that